Is it conceivable for a nine-year-old to defy the bounds of the conceivable with merely the power of his imagination? Uncover the tale of how his intense yearning for a canine companion propelled him to triumph in a competition, defying all expectations, thereby proving that age holds no sway over the principle of assumption. This narrative serves as a beacon of inspiration to all. Allow me to share a profound encounter that unfolded one afternoon during a session with a client, a vibrant young grandmother and entrepreneur from New York, who was accompanied by her nine-year-old grandson from Pennsylvania. While addressing her questions and elucidating the law of assumption, explaining how to bring her desires to fruition, the young boy, seemingly preoccupied with a toy truck, absorbed every word in silence. As I expounded on adopting the consciousness of having already achieved one's desires, sharing a tale of a soldier who envisioned himself back home to fall asleep in the barracks, the young boy's interest was piqued. As they were leaving, he burst out, I know what I want and I've figured out how to get it. Curiosity piqued, I asked about his desire. He revealed a steadfast resolve to acquire a puppy despite his grandmother's reminder of his parents' strict prohibition due to his age and his father's aversion to dogs in their home. Yet, the boy's desire remained undeterred. He declared, what I need to do is visualize, each night before sleep, that I have the dog and we are walking together, challenging his grandmother's objections with, but grandma, that goes against what Mr. Neville said. It's not your decision. I can have a dog. Six weeks on, the grandmother shared a remarkable turn of events. The boy's deep-seated desire led him to apply all that was discussed about realizing a wish. His conviction was so strong that he envisioned the presence of a dog by his side every night, feeling its fur and imagining their shared activities. Then, the miraculous occurred. A local newspaper, during an Animal Compassion Week, called for essays on the benefits of owning a dog. The competition, open to all local schools, found its winner in the boy who had, weeks earlier, declared his intent in my office. He was awarded a collie puppy at a public ceremony, an event that was widely covered in the newspaper. The grandmother noted that had she simply given him money for a dog, his parents would have objected, preferring to save it. However, the manner in which he acquired the dog, through winning the contest and gaining public acknowledgement, softened his parents' stance leading to an outcome they had never anticipated, they allowed him to keep the pet. The grandmother emphasized that the boy had specifically wished for a collie, and so it was. This instance stands as a testament to the unique power of desire. This story came to light at the conclusion of a lecture, shared by an aunt during the Q&A session. A regular at my talks and consultations, she wished to illustrate the successful application of the law of assumption in her life. She recounted an encounter with her distraught niece, whose husband, an Air Force officer stationed in Atlantic City, had been deployed to Europe. Overwhelmed with sadness, the niece longed for her husband's reassignment to Florida, a place they dearly loved. The aunt immediately suggested applying the law of assumption, envisioning themselves in Florida, feeling the sea breeze and the sand beneath their feet. Remarkably, within 48 hours, the husband was reassigned to Florida as an instructor, and within five days, his wife boarded a train to join him. Though the aunt engaged in the visualization, it was the niece's fervent wish that propelled the outcome. The third anecdote underscores the swift manifestation of the law of assumption. A lady of high social standing consulted me, troubled by her inability to rent out her city apartment a necessity to maintain her estates and plan for the summer at her country residence. Despite enlisting top agents, there was no interest in the apartment. I advised her to visualize the apartment as rented and to immerse herself in the sensation of being at her country home, acting as if the rental was already secured. Merely two days following our enlightening conversation, she reached out to me from her countryside residence, brimming with excitement, to share the news that, after dedicating a night to visualizing her time at the country house, an ideal renter had come forward the very next day, eager to occupy her apartment without delay. Therefore, I implore you to emulate the young lad from our initial narrative, who, upon learning of the law of assumption, instantly recognized his desires and the pathway to their realization. The teachings of Neville Goddard on the Law of Assumption serve not merely as a method for manifesting one's desires but also embody a philosophical approach to life that breaks through the confines of age, chronology, and geography. 
This principle is vividly demonstrated in the accounts I've shared, showcasing individuals of various ages successfully bringing their deepest aspirations to life through a staunch belief in the potency of their imagination and assumption. Consider the tale of the young boy, whose heart was set on acquiring a puppy. Despite facing familial constraints, his steadfast belief and continuous engagement in visualization drew the circumstances necessary to make his dream a reality. This instance not only affirms the law of assumptions efficacy but also underscores the significance of persistence and self-belief. The narrative of the boy and his collie puppy stands as a powerful illustration of how, through determined imagination, one can surmount any perceived barriers. Conversely, the story of the lady striving to lease her apartment reminds us that solutions to our dilemmas often lie within us. By actively engaging in assumption and visualization, she managed to synchronize her reality with her heart's desire, thereby proving that our external circumstances are a mirror of our internal state. This example further highlights the criticality of detail in visualization, by envisaging not just the outcome but also the sensory experiences accompanying it, we amplify the manifestation of our wishes. Beyond these motivational tales, it's imperative to acknowledge the influence of our surroundings and interpersonal connections on the manifestation journey. In the saga of the boy and his puppy, the community's role in organizing the contest that ultimately led to the boy's dream coming to fruition is pivotal. This illustrates that while we endeavor internally to manifest our desires, the universe orchestrates externally, through the people and events in our lives, to aid in the fulfillment of our aspirations. Expanding upon these narratives, the value of fostering an environment conducive to dreaming and positive assumption is evident. Promoting awareness of the law of assumption and similar concepts from a young age can empower individuals to harness their imagination constructively and to have faith in their dreams' viability, irrespective of present conditions. Moreover, the significance of gratitude in the process of assumption cannot be overstated. Gratitude not only raises our vibrational frequency to match that of our desires but also opens us up to the universe's blessings and opportunities. Thus, cultivating a state of thankfulness can expedite the manifestation process, transforming our reality in unimaginable ways. Each story elucidates the law of assumptions universality and simplicity. No intricate instruments or complex ceremonies are necessary, faith, imagination, and determination suffice. These accounts beckon us to tap into our mind's boundless power and to recognize that, regardless of age or circumstances, we possess the ability to sculpt the life of our dreams. Hence, akin to the boy in our opening tale, I encourage you to ponder, what do I earnestly desire, and how can I leverage the law of assumption to attain it? Bear in mind, within the realms of imagination and belief, there exist no boundaries to what we can accomplish.